Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Leung, and I am one of the REI physicians at RMA of New Jersey. So the way I explain carrier screening to my patients is that it's a risk assessment to see if they carry any genetic mutations that they could pass on to the next generation. So this is very distinct from PGT, which is only looking at whole chromosomes. Carrier screening looks at specific genes and mutations within those specific genes. So specifically what we're screening for are autosomal recessive diseases. And what this means is these are diseases where in order to be affected with the disease, you have to have two copies of the mutation. If you only have one copy, you're considered a carrier. And most carriers are completely asymptomatic. You would never know that you're a carrier unless you were specifically tested for it. And for most people, if you're a carrier, it's not an issue until you happen to procreate with someone who is a carrier of the same disease. And if that happens, and both of you have the same mutation for the same disease, then there is a 25% chance that your child will have the disease. Some people decide that they're okay with that. They will just try to conceive on their own naturally understanding that there is that one in four chance that they will have a child affected. And certainly you can do additional testing when you are pregnant um, to test that pregnancy and see if that child has that disease. However, the great thing about fertility treatment and IVF is that we can actually do that testing before you even get pregnant and prevent you from having a pregnancy um, with or carry a child with that disease. And so the way to do that is to do IVF with genetic testing and test the embryos for whatever specific disease you are carrying.